I'm really excited about introducing these next four performers. Because they are great girls on the stage, and they are great off. They are fun to be around, wherever you are. Four Girls Four is a much acclaimed musical comedy review starring Margaret Whiting, Rosemary, Rosemary Clooney, and Helen O'Connell. Four Girls Four has been playing to capacity crowds throughout this nation the past year. It originated in Los Angeles, where it was so successful that it came back immediately for an encore engagement. Now we're going to be entertained by the stars individually, and then they will all perform together. First, a lady who has sung many songs that have become standards. She had all the hit records. She was the beginning of Capitol Records. Her father wrote all of the standards that we still know and love and sing, like Hooray for Hollywood and Guilty and uh, Beyond the Blue Horizon and I could just go on all the day, My Ideal. Uh, her songs on record included the hits Moonlight in Vermont and It Might As Well Be Spring. Would you please welcome the first of four girls for a dear friend for many years, Margaret Whiting. <laughs> As restless as a wind in a windstorm, I'm as jumpy as a puppet on a string. I haven't seen a crocus or a rosebud or that robin on the wing, but I feel so gay in a But it might as well be spring. It might as well be spring. There's a tree. They're so hypnotized by that love 
Thank you. Oh, what a beautiful audience. And have I got a treat for you. Ladies and gentlemen, number two. One of the loveliest ladies I know, one of the most beautiful women I know, one of the greatest singers, and one of the best entertainers in the whole world. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Miss Helen O'Connell. <laughs> See that I'm all chilled, darling, through and through. Put my cold hands, darling, warm to the touch of me. Rain hasn't fallen for days now, but rainbows up the sky. My heart must have painted those rainbows, shining before my eyes. with Rosemary and Rosemary. Thank you. To continue this review, Four Girls Four, television viewers are certainly familiar with this next member of Four Girls Four as a fine comedian from the Dick Van Dyke Show and her current post at Hollywood Squares. But a whole new generation of fans are discovering what a lot of us already knew for a long time. She is a terrific stage performer as well. So for the beginning of this, I suggest here in the studio you watch your monitors for a very special introduction to Rose Marie. Watch. You will now hear Baby Rose Marie, one of radio's youngest and hottest entertainers. <laughs> Digger. <laughs> digger and digger of Beverly Hills. Did you ever try to find one of their stores? Can't find them, you know. Did you ever try to find one of their furs? You can't find them. You gotta win them on a game show. And I found out that ever since I've been with Hollywood Squares, which is now 13 years, I found out that everything they give away on those shows, you can't buy any place. You gotta win them on a game show. For instance, have you ever had anybody come over to you and say, I'd like you to come over to my house, see my Broad Hill furniture? Nobody's got Broyhill furniture. Mary Kay Cosmetics, even Mary Kay can't find them. <laughs> Sarah Coventry Jewelry, all those things. You can't buy them any place. You gotta win them on a game show. 
And since I've been doing that show, I told you, 13 years, my whole life has changed. Everything, the way I talk, the way I live, my whole lifestyle, everything's changed. People come over to me, they ask me a question, I say, true or false? <laughs> and they go to my house for dinner, when they start to leave, I say, wait, I have parting gifts. <laughs> and they're over $400 today. And my lady who comes to clean once a week, I give her multiple choice. <laughs> Bathroom, kitchen, or the floors. She does my bedroom, I give her a two-week vacation in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> I think right now, right at this very moment while we're all here, there's got to be at least seven million people at the Ilakai Hotel in Honolulu. <laughs> all game show winners. <laughs> it's the game show Siberia. That's what they sent him. But I tell you, since I've been doing Hollywood Squares, I'm very proud of it. Really, I am. I kid about it, I tease about it, but it's been very, very good to me. It really has. In fact, I started with the show right from the very beginning. In fact, I made the first three pilots on that show. There was a guy from Western Airline. doing that show you know 13 years ago they used to tease me looking for a guy you know can't get a husband trying to get a date you know so of course all the questions used to pertain to that like uh, what you should wear on a date what you should say well it's 13 years later folks and nothing's happened <laughs> so now I get questions on gorillas varicose veins once in a while they throw in a hot flash question you know. <laughs> but now in the last batch of shows that we did Peter asked me a question. He said, if you gave the man your number and the man calls, and he seems a little nervous and shy, what should you do? Well, the answer should have been, you don't make him shyer or nervouser. You help him out. At least you try. Or he's just going to say goodbye, which is exactly what they always say to me. Goodbye. When it comes to men, do I ever do what's right any year, any month, any morning, afternoon, or night? If there's a wrong way to say it, a wrong way to play it, nobody does it like me. If there's a wrong way to do it, a right way to screw it up, nobody does it like me. I got a big long mouth, I'm always talking much too free. If you go for tack manners, better stay away from me. There's a wrong way to play it, a right way to be a fool. Nobody does it like me. A wrong bell, I ring it. A wrong bell, I sing it. Nobody does it like me. If there's a problem, I duck it. I don't solve it, I just muck it up. Nobody does it like me. And I don't know why. I really don't know why. Now, 13 years ago, it was very funny. Uh huh. Can't get a guy. Ho ho. Looking for a husband. Mm hmm. 13 years later, folks, it ain't funny anymore. I mean, I'm dead serious. Every guy I go out with, a problem. I don't know why, I think I'm fairly attractive. Got a fairly nice figure. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> I tell you, folks, if there's anything in there, there better be a star in the East. <laughs> you know, you try to go out with all different kinds of guys, you know, lawyers, you know, businessmen. Oh, I've got to tell you, we're not with the doctor from Beverly Hills. Dr. Sam Peckerman. <laughs> The name alone should have told me something, right? <laughs> so when I try to be a lady, I'm no lady, I'm a broad. But I talk like I'm a lady, but I sound like it's a broad. There's a wrong way to get a guy, a right way to lose a guy. Nobody does it like me. Nobody does it, no, nobody does it. Fidget. The government says we should all cut down, okay? I'll take a midget. Nobody does it like me. Thank you. Love you too. Thank you. Thank you so very, very much. Thank you. You are a fantastic audience. And now you're in for a wonderful treat. Here's a lady that I know you've heard all of her wonderful recordings, her many albums that she's made, and the motion pictures that you've seen her in. And just recently she was honored by the centerfold of Field and Stream. And... <laughs> oh, she's going to kill me for that. She really is. 
I love her dearly. She's a great performer and a wonderful singer. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to be on the same stage with Miss Rosemary Clooney. Places in my life and time. I've sung a lot of songs. I've made some bad rhymes. I've acted out my life on stages with 10,000 people watching. But we're alone now, and I'm singing this song. what I hope to be I've treated you unkindly but darling can't you see there's no one more important to me darling can't you please see through me cause we're alone now and I'm singing this song for you Precious secrets of a truth withholding nothing. You came out in front while I was high. But now I'm so much better. And if my words won't come together, listen to the melody. Subaru four-wheel drive Brat. Fun on or off the road, just a flick of a lever switches the Brat front-wheel drive to a four-wheel drive. At Subaru, we're changing the face of four-wheel drive. I can't believe that you four have been on the road and haven't punched each other out. We have. I mean, are there fights and all that oh, kind of sure, stuff? Oh, sure, you know all that stuff. You're kidding, really? Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, hi. 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 Have, you met, have you met oh, Dimples? Have I met Who? Dimples? Dimples? Dimples, the clown. The, the princess. The princess, and you are... Guess what my name is. I don't know. The, the mouth. mouth. The mouth. Ah. <laughs> Do you really all still get along? I mean, are you, it's all fun and... It's marvelous. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. We get along better than ever. Really? We have a marvelous How many time. of you in the audience believe that? Yeah. They it's do. The truth. Isn't that true? True. Would I lie? Would I lie? Yeah, yes, of yes. Of course you would. No, I, I watched would. that what, show. What, what, yeah, 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 yes, me? Yes, Clue? Yes, me? Yes, you would. We get along most of the time, don't we? I'll give you an example. Some of the time is... Go, you, Margaret. I was going to say that one... I have the worst hair. And you have the what? The worst hair. hair. She has baby fights. See, Clune has gorgeous hair. She's back there, you know, with the brush going, whap, whap, like that. 
This one has baby fine hair with the hairdresser. The, you know, me, I'm going like this with the spray. And she's got baby fine hair. Yeah, but who did my hair today? I did. You did. That's right. <laughs> we all pitch in and help each other. We sew each other's dresses if we have to. Her beads keep coming off. We Doesn't this just them? sound like comfort cozy? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not. It's a lot of baloney. Four broads, four. <laughs> Never have I had all four of it. Do guys yes. come back to the door? Do look who cool he has. Oh, oh, look who cool he has. Look at this. Look cool if it's not the band, yeah. Uh, They're it, all hustling. It, it, it's the maitre d's. He's after and you. The, what, yes, what is she and, talking and about? The men in our life. The groupies. Oh, the groupies. Oh, the men, oh, you are the men in our the lives. In what is that? Did I tell you I could make them do this fast? The folks? men in huh? my life. Can I start a fight? Stop, Clooney. Tell right. me. Tell me about her. Last right. night with the band. Sure. Oh, listen. Sure. You know that she had a date uh, last night with the entire brass section of our orchestra. Oh, no. They were so loud. Where were they loud? Where was loud? You know I can't get to them now. No, but you'll find them. Here they are. Four Mama girls, heels. four yeah. for their big finale. Yeah. Rosie Clooney, Helen O'Connell, Rose Marie, and Margaret Whiting. So when our blonde quartet, sing it, Rose. Got the running order set. Yeah, do it, like sexy, I love it. honey. Rehearsals. Oh, well, quite literally. 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 A song. Wherever we go, whatever we do, we're gonna go through it. States of the way, we can't wait to play them together. So on to the friendly skies we go, with Ford and all the guys we know. The boys in Des Moines or us we go, oh we go, together. Whenever we sing, we grab the brass ring and do our own thing every show. We love you all and that's a fact, but now it's time to get our act together. We're Just as soon sing together. Though we love TV, it's loud and it's free. But we'd rather be here together. If someone's big pants in their heyday, my sports, their music was great. But no one got a wealthy on payday. We say, hey, together. From Hollywood squares to lots of careers, just nothing compares to the blue. Directory. Now, Four Girls Four is a show featuring four of the best entertainers in the business. Rosemary Clooney, Rose Marie, Margaret Whiting, and Barbara McNair. And we caught the show not long ago in Los Angeles and talked to the women later about how they view themselves at this stage of their careers. Take a listen. I'm out here. I'm on now. My jitters are gone now. My the voice is Margaret Whiting's, but the sentiment belongs to all four girls four. Come on to my house of my house, I'm going to give you Christmas tree. Come on to my house of my house, I'm going to give you marriage ring and a pomegranate too. Huh? Come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house, to my house, I'm going to give you peach and pear and I love your hair. Huh? Come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house, to my house, I'm going to give you my house. Come on to my house, to my house, I'm going to give you everything, everything. My name is Rosemary Clooney, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here to sing for all of you tonight. 
I think it's changed somewhat. I think that um, that as you get older, you have a tendency to be a little more honest. I think that uh, there's nothing kind of funnier or marvelous than, than very old people that get very honest about things. I, I, I love uh, I love talking to them for that reason. I, I feel a little more relaxed. I think that the girl next door probably moved upstairs. That's probably the whole thing. Uh, I'm more relaxed. Yeah. Yeah, your version of Stayed Too Long at the Fair is particularly poignant. That's, that's quite a song to begin with. Well, I think... Uh, I think what the song means to me is what it probably means to a lot of ladies in the in this business, whether they're actresses or or producers or or singers. Um, am I spending enough time with my children? Uh, did I try hard enough in my marriage? Um, have I concentrated enough on my career? All those things. It's a it's a sort of a, a list of priorities that you have when you wake up every morning. What's most important for that day? And I think if I stay too long at the fair, at least sort of reminds me of that. Um, it's a lovely song. I, I think it, it says a great deal to people in this business. I wanted the music to play on forever. Have I stayed too long at the fair? I don't think age is uh, that important. I think uh, it's how you feel and how you think and how you go about things where age is important. Uh, age is only important when you talk about cheese or wine. Mm -hmm. Maybe violins. Or Maybe violins. Or piano. <laughs> Maybe. But that's about it. I don't, I don't think age has anything to do with it. I think uh, it's your outlook on life and how you feel and how you work. The monster with the thousand eyes Yeah, yeah. 
to go into show business uh, nobody could tell me that I wasn't gonna make it because I just always believed I would and it wasn't because I was encouraged as a matter of fact many people discouraged me and tried to steer me into what they considered more practical avenues of life but for me it, that didn't mean anything I just knew this is what I wanted to do I was determined to stay there until I either got battered down or made it uh, you know, in, in my mind, it just never occurred to me that I wouldn't make it. And I think that this is necessary to have a positive attitude in show business, or actually to have a positive attitude in anything you want to do if you're going to make it. a kiss a sigh is just a sigh the fundamental things apply time goes by and when two lovers do they still say I love you I'm glad I think that you're going to find that the four of us learned the hard way to be able to expose ourselves. It's a terrifying thing. You've, you've got to go out on the stage and expose yourself and be stark naked. But um, I've learned that you have to trust audiences. You've got to say to yourself, hey, this is what I'm all about. This is me. And then you can uh, kind of let it all hang out. Tonight, I've been near you. I think.
thank you. I cheer you. When you folks arrive here, you make me alive here. Great audience.